You know one thing for certain hey. You better keep your eyes feel I'm lucky Cause I to the city in Addison D And if I could have been a scary hey. I'm gonna go to my sleep Six cards girls man Keep your eyes closed I'm lurking When you end up at the Sing along crew The money has no rhyme and brutal Now they see me and say It's time to get to the end Yes, people. So, yes, we're back this time and we're back with our special guest. So, we're going to move on swiftly. I'm going to let our special guest introduce herself today. <laughs> hey, guys, my name is Romain Dixon. I'm a singer songwriter from South East London. Oh, yeah, you okay. heard that. Singer, but she said no vocals today. But <laughs> I, heard, I, heard, I, heard, I heard you got a little surprise for us, though. Yeah, we got we got some exclusives. Okay, that's what I like. Woo! I listened to, listen to a couple of tunes on on SoundCloud and that. Yeah. And um, was it what was the one I said? Demonstrate. Is it demonstrate? Demonstrate. Yeah. Banger, banger, banger. I was banger. I'm gonna love that. I was vibing to that one in the car. The way here. Is that like, some, It's like a like a, a vibesy kind of slow song. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, it's not yeah. too mellow, but you get me. Like I was probably like. Mm, yeah, <laughs> Can you, can, can you imagine it in a movie? Listen. Cheers. Tell me if you can imagine Cheers. it in a movie. Because I can Cheers. see it in, in some blockbuster thing, Cheers. like halfway through or coming towards as the end. As, as you guys will see, you will definitely see, hear when, it. when the songs are playing later on, we'll definitely announce that. Yeah, the name of the song. Yeah, the artist. Yeah, Ramon Dixon. Yeah, is it sorry, Romaine? Romaine Dixon. Sorry, Romaine Dixon. I always get people's names wrong. Like, right. David knows I'm like the start king out here. <laughs> and, like, I, do, I do try. So, yeah, man. It's all good. It's, uh, um, so, yeah, like, beginning <laughs> beginnings, imitating people back in the day, and then just kind of kept working on it. Um, got better as time went on. Mm -hmm. um, started collaborating more with different producers and different okay. songwriters. And just life experience, really. That's, that's. So, since. So, when do you really feel like your music. Would you say career? Because that's what you want to do yeah, in the future, yeah. yeah? Your music career kind of became more of a life thing instead of just a hobby. Um, I would say, that's a hard question. Um, I found say when I got to college. Mm -hmm. um, so I did an artist development course at the British Academy of New Music. Okay. And it was probably the, one of the hardest courses I've ever done. And I've done a degree, so like that's definitely mm -hmm. hard. Um, but that was yeah, it was like a lot of soul searching, knowing what I like, why I like certain mm -hmm. things, why I like certain aspects of different music. Um, that's what music is kind of about, because when you're singing, especially, it kind of has to come from within. Exactly, I exactly. You see it sometimes as well within an artist. You you look at them while they're singing, and you can see the passion. That's what I like to see. Yeah. Like there's a couple um, clips on your Instagram that I saw. Yeah, yeah. I can see it in some of them you were very passionate. Yeah. So it made me feel the vocals even more. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I can yeah. see that the passion is real. It's not that. Yeah. Yeah, it's all it's about cool. personal experience. Like every single song that you hear is from personal experience. Mm -hmm. um, whether you believe it or not, even like the tracks that are more pop, all become like all from personal experience. Okay. Yeah. I'm feeling that man, car the the local one. What was the other one on SoundCloud? She only got like I think it was only three on SoundCloud. As uh, demonstrate, as like I do. I think let you go. Let you go. I think it's let you go. Yeah, that yeah. one was more popish, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like that one, I I, I, I can vibe to you, but I'm telling you, demonstrate was different to me. I like, see <laughs> what kind of kind of <laughs> singing to us. <laughs> Listen, sorry guys, sorry. I get it's carried away. Baseline. On a Friday night, I get excited on the way to the radio show, you know, something to, <laughs> to hype me up. And I never thought that such a, like a slow, as I said, a slower vibe to what I usually yeah, listen yeah. to would hype me up. I was like, yeah, but I have to do a couple throwbacks there. Come in here. <laughs> David's doing throwbacks as well. I was like, listen. Listen, it's got to be done. It's got to be done. Yeah, Shout out be. to Donnie Blaze on that. Um, he produced it. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, man. Don't, don't produce them. So I was moving, moving on to the first question. I thought I'd ask, what advice would you give to young people who are trying to, what, how do I put it? Trying to find the balance within education and finances, but also chase their dream. Um, from what aspect? Are we talking from a college aspect? Or are we talking from a uni aspect? Listen, from, because it's from two completely different aspects. No, because at the, at the same time, your career can launch from any age. So let me say, all right, let me yeah, shorten the bracket, yeah? 
let's say from college, because that's when it, you do first start to like kind of gain responsibilities and have to find your way in life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's say college. Okay, cool. So for me, it was more like having my little part time jobs. So I used to work at a bar mm -hmm. um, at the O2 Arena. I used to bang out shifts. Come like, on. Bang right. out the shifts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. David knows I used to bang out them shifts. Bang out. Um, just for some studio time. Yeah. And um, that's where the passion is. That's where it was. So any my little hundred pound I could get to get into the studio, that was me. Mm -hmm. um, and just to record my stuff, and then everything that I recorded, it was just like make sure you promote, promote, promote. Just to like, make it worth it for all the hard work you've put in to get into the studio. Exactly, hundred percent. And like now we've got social media, it's so much more easier to promote your stuff. But in saying that, <laughs> it is a lot harder because there's so much people claiming that they do music mm -hmm. and there are some people that do it just for a hobby and there's some people that do it because that's that hundred percent. Popularity, uh, they want those, the, 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 not those people, the people you said before, sorry, I didn't realise you could, but the people that just do it for a couple of views and etc. They do exactly. make it harder for people that are actually talented because a lot of people can be popular yeah. but no talent but because they're dropping a one-two vocal, they're getting more views than someone 100%. like yourself that is uh, more talented well, Definitely. not as More active on the social. <laughs> yeah, like, because again, I think all of us in the room right now, we all grind, but in our spare time, this is. Find that your career, you have to start from somewhere. And whether that's you, you can only get into to do one track and then you've got to promote the hell out of that one yeah. track. <laughs> you've got to flex that one track from North London to East to South to, to West. To Birmingham to Manchester. Do you know what I mean? You've got to flex that one track. Yeah. Um, and then we have, we're in an era now where we feel like we have to just drop a new tune every two weeks. Now don't get me wrong, it helps. It does help. It does help. It does help. It but, makes a difference. But quality over quantity, like mm -hmm. at all times, like I guarantee you, if you're doing that, your tunes ain't going to be the best tunes 100. that you can bring out. So It's the same in every kind of art, I think, because the same with myself, sometimes I may take longer to release a visual, but that's because there's something in within that visual that I don't feel is there yet. Exactly. Do you get what I'm saying? I don't want to release it and it's half hearted. Because I have, at the beginning, that's what I used to do. Okay. I was just pressured. Like, because that's why I was, I was like, when you said that, I was like, mm, okay. Yeah. And then, I was like, I was like, okay, that's kind of me. When I first, I'm not gonna lie, when I first started, that's why I, I felt like the whole social media thing kind of made me feel pressured right. to keep the consistency yeah it can do that because you see that in other people you feel like well they got where they got because they was consistent mm -hmm. but i'm looking at them now not from when they first started exactly when i was making tunes here there and there and then they was getting the progress mm -hmm. within time because as everyone says it takes time to get to where you want to exactly. be at yeah, yeah so i've only just realized that as i started to do the radio show when i was doing it just off my own back on my own visuals i was rushing to do it and it was coming out half-heartedly and some projects I was looking at, and I was just like, oh, man. You're not proud of it, yeah. Yeah, like, that could have been. Ten. I've got some that are still hidden now, like just all edited everything. I just feel like, no, the footage could have been better, so I haven't released yeah. it. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Whereas before, listen, I would have just let that go go. Oh yeah, I still let it out. No, 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 no. Yeah, hundred percent. Like I feel like when you're more popular you can churn out as much yeah. shit. What it's just a numbers game. Mm -hmm. So I think just. As creators ourselves, we need to be aware of the quality of the work that we're putting out because if we keep putting out bullshit music, guess what? There's going to be more bullshit, bullshit music. Yep. So, that's like, coming out with trash. just like, yep, facts. for me, that's not what I'm about. Like, I try to like take my time as much as possible, and if I feel like my song is going to be a banger, or some people might like it, some people might not. Mm. I do it for the people that are right the track. That's it. Like, I do it for the fans, people that support. And I just feel like we need to we need to get back to quality. Definitely, because even not just because you're talking about overall in the UK scene or just singers. Uh, um. <laughs> 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 um. 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 I mean, I guess <laughs> I guess we could say you know from a worldwide standpoint, I think music has. Um, the quality has has gone down, yeah. but I feel like in the UK, like I turn on Capital Extra. Shout out Capital Extra. I used to work for the station myself. Okay. But like the tracks is oh man, like Repetitive. oh I can't. Listen, I, I, I drive. I drive. That, that, that in a London song. In a London. 
Who's in her in her land? Yeah. Um, Dino. Oh, oh, Dino you know, and AJ or something like that. Like, yeah, yeah. One of them. I hate that song. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate that song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's another girl. <laughs> let me not. Let me not voice my feelings like that because. You have a bit tipsy right now. But, <laughs> yeah, listen, I, told I you mean, like, we need to start putting out music. Like, like it is popular, don't get me wrong, but it's it's not something that we're going to listen to in, in it, just the No, I definitely just... agree with that one because there's a lot of tunes at the time I think are bangers. Yeah. But then I don't listen to them, to actual songs that are actually 100% quality that I can listen to at any time, any mood, just and the vibes to. Exactly. There's, you're gonna to go to the songs that you listen to back in the day. It's just the quality is just better. This is when they were, they were DST, sorry, was throwing it back before you, um, you arrived. Listen, yeah, old school teams you could never get old. <laughs> <laughs> moving on to the next question. So, kind of moving on to what we're going to at the beginning. What what made you want to become a singer? What made you want to become a singer? Um, honestly, uh, two thousand and three. My sister took me to a Justin Timberlake concert. Yes, JT. Um, oh my days, like, I just remember being in an absolute daze and fascinated by how this man maneuvered the stage, his vocals, his dance moves, the whole production. And yeah, ever since that moment, it was like, this is what I want to do. Because I'm not gonna lie, I always say to my guests, I'm a bit of a troll when it comes to interviewing. I kind of troll your Instagram and stuff okay. like that. So uh-huh. I saw you as a dancer. Uh-huh. Now, well, I don't know if you still do dancing, but it says, it says in your caption like, when I used to do dancing. So yeah. I don't know if you still do it now. Because as I said, that um, demonstrate song is kind of a Sierra thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, like, um, so my mum put me to dancing when I was seven, actually. And I was the shyest person ever. Shyest person. I didn't want to dance, sing or nothing in front of people mm-hmm. and that kind of helped my confidence and then as years kind of went down I used to be in like different dance groups mm-hmm. and performing around the UK and that's, and that's what takes you out of your soul really yeah it and took so me out of my shell things for what you're doing as well isn't it? yeah 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 100% um, so yeah it was that that concert and ever since that I was just kind of imitating as, as I said before really crap got better <laughs> like practice makes perfect definitely uh, more shows that I did the better I got and um, yeah, we're here now. We're here now. We're here now. Here now. So, yeah, I'm, I want, I want, I want DST to play one of your songs quickly, just so the listeners can get a kind of idea of what kind of vocals you're coming with. I, and he threw, he, he, listen, and he threw it straight away. Mm-hmm. And check it out on the SoundCloud. Didn't I tell you that was a banger? Fire! Oh my! Didn't I tell you that was a banger? I hope you're vibes on this Friday Fire. night. Yeah. You know your front room if you're in your slippers. <laughs> and your dressing gown. Slide it, gang. Hey, no, my son slippers. It's cold. Yeah, all of them. It's raining outside of that. Yeah, Sliders away, you know. That season was gone. Yeah. But maybe, I'm gonna move on to the next question. These ones are a bit more for you. Oh man. Yeah, <laughs> they're a bit more for you. Why am I scared? So, which three female artists right now would you say is popping? In the UK Ooh. industry. Ooh. Um, I, I like, I'd say Lady Nisha. I think she's mad talented and I think she's, yeah. she's underrated and she Still. just comes with the flow, she comes with the British, comes with the swag mm-hmm. consistently, so she's definitely one. Um, I have DDB actually. Ooh. Um, Way That's what when I was performing Way. at uh, Wilderness, um, I was backstage while she was performing and yeah, it was just dope, just bare vibes. I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't know who that is. Really? Wow. Wow. Oh, you might have to just drop that. Yeah, yeah. yeah you might have to, you might have to bust that. Like, if you hear it, you'll be like, oh, bare bitches everywhere. Yeah. 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 I have to hit that that's what I'm saying, every week I get a little new tunes to bang on the way home with that, so 
Listen, I'm gonna play really really tune for this guy. Yeah. Listen, then my playlist is full up. Like, oh, who's this? The two is there. We're like, bro, have you heard this? Like, oh, 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 yeah, oh, 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 yeah, my yeah, playlist full up. Who is? Hey. Um, and other than that, yeah. No one else. Um. It's a good one because there's a there's I think there's a there's a lot of females to pick from um, compared to what they used to be anyway. Shouts and games, who you feeling? Steph London. I'm not gonna name names. But then, comparison to yeah, the everyone's trying to sound the same. And so like Miss Banks and stuff like that. They start to sound. I actually like Miss Banks. Yeah. I feel like yeah. Like I her uh, a couple of years ago, I think she got better still. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah, yeah, still yeah. with the little rapid flow. I'm feeling it still like she always had that, but I feel like before she was kind of kind of go for the kind of singing kind of yeah yeah no she's she's dope now she's kind of coming she's harder with she's been around for some time Cardi B kind of rapping thing you get what I'm saying like, yeah like, yeah, yeah. Um, there's UK artists Nadia Rose I like for the smoke I got for Kuzina listen I'm See, telling you listen hey, if, hey, I, did, if I didn't hey, 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 if I didn't hey, smoke hey, if I didn't smoke I think stuff. I would be like Mario. Yeah, yeah. everyone say I look like Mario. Mario. Yeah. But, that's, well, a big, that's, a big, that's a big statement. Wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You can actually sing it, mm-hmm. not like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think? Huh? Alright, cool. Anyways, <laughs> so <laughs> moving on to <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to the last question before um, you put So again, name three UK artists that you would do collabs with. Hmm. That's a good question. Um, off the top of my head. Um, yeah, definitely Alicia. Definitely, yeah. definitely much. This is that would be a, I think that would be a good collab still. Yeah, man. Um, who else? I'm gonna say Wretch. Oof. Yeah, man. Spoken words. Um, legend. 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 Spoken legend. words. And actually, Etta Bond, like, I'm really digging her Etta stuff. Etta Bond, song, 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 please. Yeah, um, Ask Me To Stay is like back in the day. No, he had any other, I, I'm not putting you on the phone. Yeah, man, you need to let me know. But yeah, man, she, her music's dope, her music's dope. And just focus for days and it's just like realness, like, for her, it's, it's not like a package or anything. It's just, you, you see what you get. What you see is what you get. And that's how, this, so she's established. I would say, like, I think she's a good example of an artist that's been around for a while. Mm-hmm. That she just knows her lane. She knows her lane. She knows what kind of art she is. Mm-hmm. She's got her fan base, and she just kind Stays of with it. Yeah, still kind of wonder and try and reach out to the next week. Oh, Sh- Shaka. Yeah, I don't know who Shaka is. Yeah, yeah, yeah Shaka. Shaka yeah, 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 he's definitely dope. Yeah, he's dope. I, I don't think. See, I do. I some tunes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Shaka's definitely someone now. So definitely yeah. good. No, no more. You don't think you like type of music that you come like, with? And you should come with different flow. I can hear you on like, like the Afro rap kind of thing, you know. Well, <laughs> something that do you know what? I'll be honest. I'll, I'll say this here, like it's something that I thought about, mm. and as you said, it, that kind of scene is mainly populated by male artists, like yeah. male rappers or singers, and very rare. There's not much females yeah. doing that at the moment. But then I had to ask myself, is this a wave that I wanted to just get on because it's popular? I was like, no, I, I want to be more than that. I don't want to be known just for being a that's the time at that time. Because when that time done, it's done. done. It's done, it's, it's done yeah. for those people, like so I don't want to be a part of that that suit for the people, so I just so stay original. Could be, yeah, stay original. Just you just come with you, and what do you do? Down the street. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> you get me, damn it. Turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. Yeah, man. So, yeah, just I'm just staying true to myself. I can do it, I can hop on it, and I mm-hmm. might. I thought about putting out a tune. There's actually two tunes that I've got. That, yeah. Along those. Those lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this is no one's ready for you. They're not ready yet, so I'm saying I'm ready too, but I don't know no one's ready. I'm gonna lie, I might dance still, I'm not gonna lie. I'll be honest with now, so don't think I'm weird. Yeah, I might dance. Oh, Molly talented right here. Yeah, there's a tune that I could put out, but I actually think Stefan Don would do the tune bad, actually. Oh, to similar? Yeah, I think if she delivered the track, it would be bad. I'm feeling her right now. You know that, on the show, yeah, come on. 
Yeah, I'm one. We only gave you the plug. We only gave you the plug. Yeah. Yeah, the plug is there from him. The plug with any other artists. Um, off the top of my head, Stormzy. Um, said Shaq already. Are we talking about like just, just you artists that are like out there? Out no, there. that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, just, introduce just, people to the upcoming artists. Like. We just need one more. We just yeah. need one more. Oh, and there's quite a few. I've yeah. got a lot of musicians. Yeah, I've got my friend Nikita KC that's just come out with a new single. That she got her single launch on Tuesday. So, yes, guys, you know what time it is. It's Friday, the Talks of G Show, 10 to 12 every Friday. Our special guest, Romain Dixon, Thanks. DJ DST on the decks, and yeah, yeah. it's about that time, the on the spot challenge. Romain Dixon, are you ready? What's that one there? What's that one there, David? Whoa. I don't think she's ready. She's not ready. She's not ready. She's not ready. She's not ready. Aye. So let me let me let me just oh, no, hold on. Yeah. Let me just get a little selection. You know you have you know I have to get a little selection. Yeah. Okay. Cool. He's giving me a little device there. Jeez. Yes. Electronics, eh? Yeah. Electronic. Twenty first century guy. Come on, gang, gang, gang. <laughs> as, as we were saying earlier, this is a new this is a new future. Yeah. So we're using the technology today. It's a little spin point. So the way that this game is going to go today, it's R and B and pop yes yeah correct and we have here in front of us it's basically uh what do you call it like, like a wheel like a, yeah a spinning wheel spinning. you're gonna tap it and whatever it lands on represents the song the okay. song hey. that's gonna play in the list in the list okay so there's a list of songs whatever number that it lands on that is the song that you're gonna have to name the artist yeah and the name of the song yeah, so that's, that's, what's it? R&B and pop? And pop, yep. Okay. Pop. Right. And there's two there that's special and they're worth two points. Special, yeah? Yeah, there's a special one. Okay. But you have to do a little bit more work. Okay. Yeah. Just a little, little extra. So, right. when you're ready. So, what, what genre are you going to go? Do you go R&B or do you want to go pop? Pop. Alright. So, when you're ready, tap the screen. How's it spin? Yeah, it spin, spin. What have you got? What have you got? Turn it up, turn it up, turn it up, turn it up, One point. So you started off easy. Contact the orange. So what one's that? I don't really like orange. I'm not really an orange, I'm not really an orange guy. I'm not really feeling it. Either way, but some truth I'm good at, as you saw earlier. I know the, the name of the song, doesn't know that. That's why that was number one. Yeah? <laughs> she did that quick. <laughs> <laughs> you gave it to a two. Wow. Right. Right. You gave that to one to a two. Wow. Now that's a gander. Right. That's what I was saying. Yeah, yeah. It's like a banger. I wasn't too sure she was going to know. You, you can't give a talented singer <laughs> like the room, Romain Dixon. A song like that. Well, last time I did something like this, it might have been a bit too hard. Bro. You know what I mean? That's why I've mixed it up a little Bro. bit now. Do you know what I mean? I'm a changed man. Bro. I've mixed up. <laughs> let's, listen, let's hit the spin again. Hit the spin again. Let me say it. Let me say it. We say pop. Yeah, you pick pop this time. Yeah. yeah. Right. Switch it up a little bit. What we on now? Ooh, two points. That's five, yeah. Two points. Was that five or two? Two I'm points. Yeah. Two points. Or... Yeah, two points. So. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if you'll get this one. You know, I don't. I'm not. Sure. Listen, let me not even say. You gotta turn it off a bit. Give it some volume. Great baby, brother. Two, two points. So then you have to leave someone else. I thought that was going to be hard. I'm fair for you. When you said the second one, when you said the second one, I was like, oh, gosh, yeah, like, oh, I don't know that bit. You, you said it confidently. You guys are better than that, man. You guys are. Oh, man. I think we're going to have this thing really getting on the spot. I don't know. 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 I
So that's what, three, three points already, yeah? Wow. Chase! Oh, that's yeah. probably the most anyone's nearly anyone's got since early. Already. Oh, so next next spin, let's see what we got. Yes. So what you have to do to get a four, mate? What you have to do to get a four? Four, yeah? Oh, All right. Why is he shook? I don't know. Uh, you know what I'm saying? He looks like, I don't, he looks like he's I don't on like the spot. his feeling, you know? <laughs> I don't like it. You look like you're on the spot, as I'm saying. This yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my challenge now. So that, uh, this one is me like this. All right, this was, this was going. Uh, Camilla Camilla. Whatever her name is. Camilla Camilla, whatever. Havana. Camilla Camilla who? Camilla. Camilla. I know it's called Havana. I, I, I know that song, man. Yeah. Guys, what's going on here? What's going on here? What's going on here? Look at the one where you're hearing the rhythm and you're a bit tipsy and it's like, oh, I'm a <laughs> Alright, so we only got one more left. I'm not going to lie, I know she'll get this one. Oh, mate. I feel so, like, wait, wait. So, what are we on right now? I swear that she got four posters there. Yeah. Yeah. So, that takes her to seven, right? Wait, why did everyone pause? I swear she had three before. <laughs> Did she have three before? Wait, hold on. Did she have three? Point. Huh? So it's one point. One oh, point. she don't get four? I'm confused. One point, then two. Yeah, then three. Four. Four, yeah. So that oh, four. oh, I thought she got four points. Yeah, yeah she got four points put together. No, but I, oh, but I thought the four meant four, four points. Four points. points. This one's, oh, yes. number four. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. four don't watch that, don't watch that. I got loud, I got loud, I'm still going to win. <laughs> so hit that spin again, hit that spin again. So there's only one more left for the pop, unless you want to go straight over to R&B. We should do R&B. Right, yeah, man, give me another R&B one. Alright. Free. I got myself a free. Free? Uh, Good number uh, three. Okay. So you got to get this one, guys. That's all for the back. <laughs> Listen, I've been banging Brandy at night since I was, I don't know. Man. What's the name of my program again? Brandy? When they put, oh, Marisha. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, Did she have a love one as well? She had a love one. Sure, yeah. she Every yeah. singer bangs Brandy, so you could yeah, never. Yeah. I watched a video of her on, uh, um, her on Snapchat, uh, Instagram, singing today, actually. Oh, what? Is she still about? Yeah, 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 yeah. She's like one of the best. She's, she matured. Or she's still the same? She matured, she matured. <laughs> the right question. Don't be talking about my girl like that. <laughs> Don't be talking about the sister like that. You know, like, I just want to know like, if an artist has, like, looks different to how they used to look. Right? It's the same, I think. No, it's still the same, yeah. yeah. You know, black girl. Radio, radio looks a bit different. This is the first. We heard this one. We're going to be talking about you, know. So you know he's feeling good. You know when you don't have work the next day? It's just like, yeah. listen. It's just like, yeah. listen. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. Listen. Hey, I don't. Yeah. Listen. Hey, I'm telling you. Um, <laughs> I've got myself a two point. Next. So you got a two point. Now she's oh, running yeah. her head. Listen, she ready? Well, you got no way. Hold on. Is it pop or R&B this time? The last pop again. one. Or are you doing R&B again? No, it's R&B. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so you remember to do, yeah? All right. So we got the bit that got on. Um, I 
Benito. This guy bare five. Come on, man. Give us a clue. What we right? We wrong? I didn't know this was your challenge. All right. Oh. <laughs> Do you agree with me? Oh, Kelly, no. no it's not okay. So who is it then? Hundred percent. I'm 100%. And we say, we need to pick our answer, guys. It's not going to die. Okay? No, I don't think it's Okay, so who do we pick now? I need to hear the voice. He doesn't want us. His voice, his voice. But let's say you can hear him back in, but you don't really come in. It's like back, back, back. His voice is just there. Where are they hearing? Really want to be here. Who is that? Any from the NW? Two. Come on, tell us, man. I'm, I'm, I'm interested to know. Oh, listen! Yeah, oh, really? Yeah. I know it has no education. I, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. I can't hear you. I'm sorry. Because that's one where they're wearing the disrespecting R. Kelly. So I'm saying, end up the one where they're wearing the shiny clothes. Yeah, end up on where they're wearing the shiny clothes. Uh, and they're dancing. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 This is where they're wearing it. Yeah, this is why people are saying that R. Kelly's been in it. If you from oh, yeah, okay. yeah, this is the one where they always wear the shiny clothes, and that's why he's wearing them. Emmy, no, I can't tell you nothing. Still, yeah, yeah, still yeah, uh, made it up big boy tunes. Man, can't read it. Yes, man, still made it. Mad. Chat to the closet. Let me get out. The last one. Yeah, that's the last one. So what we should do? I think uh, the next time about to happen. So I think we should end with their exclusive. It's exclusive. Tony up, 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 not recently in music, I am happy to announce that I will be releasing my new single, No Love, um, next week, Friday. Turn it up, turn it up, turn it up! Black Friday, Friday. Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, all of that. So wait, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Tell the word. Tell the word. Tell the word. Next speak, week, Friday. Speak up now. 28th of September, I will yes. be releasing my brand new single, No Love, on all major platforms. Including an exclusive new music video. Ooh. Ooh. Directed by Gary Kane and Joshua, Ken Girl, as you know, family. Um, yeah, man, everything's just there, ready to drop it. Um, it really is to me um, about self love, it's about not giving anyone your energy. Now, for me, it was. I wrote this song in about probably half an hour, even less than that. It was just real, real quick. And um, it came to a natural a point in my life where I felt like I needed to focus on myself. I needed to hone in on my craft. I needed to get back into what I love doing the most. I felt like I got lost in trying to please other people or, or get into Building relationships with people. Mm. Don't, don't, and, don't, sorry to cut you, but you say that, I can relate a lot to you because it goes back to what we were saying earlier. That is exactly how a lot of people feel when they're starting off in this. They start, they may get sidetracked, they may start off not wanting to please anybody, but without even realizing they're trying to please people. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and like you said, you have to kind of stop yourself from doing that and concentrate on your goal. Exactly. And that, that's scary to hear um, still. Yes, yeah, so that, and even in, in terms of just like, relationships itself, like I feel like, naturally as humans, we want to experience love. Mm -hmm. We all do. But at the same time, if that person is not reciprocating that or bringing the best out of you, it's almost like you're just allowing, you're just giving people freebies. Like, I mean, you've got to protect your energy. You've got to do what you love. You've got to make yourself a priority. 
and that's what the song's about. It's about self love. Um, it's about switching it up, doing things differently. It's you about want to do it. exactly, man. You you got to switch it up, and yeah, right now I'm making myself a priority happily, um, and yeah, man, it's just a good feel good track. Maybe I should release it in the summer. I'm not sure, but it is what it is. It's here now. Um, the time's right. The time yeah, the time's like right. It's, it's happening now. It happens so smoothly. And then big up um, ENZ on the production. Okay. Uh, bring up, big up, bring up, you know. She's had a little bit of stuff on It's going to take us. It's going to take us. Oliver Rose and me. So big up Outlook Sound for mix and mastering in it. Uh, big up Sean Barrett, aka Hypertone, okay. helping with the vocal production as well on that. And yeah, man, I'm, I'm just ready to, to bring this out. Um, promote hard, you're not going to be annoyed. We're going to be playing this because yeah, we really know it's a banger, this so... I'm waiting to hear this banger. We're going to be playing this week as well in the week after, so... <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm just so going to be putting on my Snapchat and Instagram. In it, man. So, so yeah, man. You're going to you see it everywhere. You see it everywhere, so yeah, get the exclusive today on Locked Online Radio. You're done. <laughs>
Nothing in your mind, I 